It is essential for all soccer players to have a very good morning ritual and routine if they want to continue to improve on their game. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a morning routine that you can follow that's both simple and easy, yet produces incredible results. Okay guys, so like I said, it's very important that you have a solid morning routine. How you spend your morning sets you up for the rest of the day. And this is not just for soccer, this goes for your just whole day and whatever you're doing. So it's essential that you get your morning routine right. And if you have no morning routine at all, it's essential that you develop one. And this goes not just for soccer players, this goes for everyone, but of course we're gonna focus on soccer in this video given that it's simply soccer. Now I don't care how old you are e either, you should have a morning routine of some kind. So here is the model we're going to be following. We're gonna be following a model called the 20-20-20 model. Um, some people call it the hour of power, where basically we're gonna do blocks of time of three activities, 20 minutes each. I'm gonna suggest what those three activities should be. Okay, so let's get right into what it should be. The first thing you should do when you wake up is drink 20 ounces of water. At your bedside, at night, before you go to bed, fill a glass with 20 ounces of water, put it next to your bed, get a water bottle, put it next to your bed, so that when you wake up, the first thing you do when your alarm goes off or whatever it is that wakes you up, you drink a glass of water or you drink a bottle of water immediately. Just get it down, you just chug that thing. Okay, so at this point you should already be out of bed. Now have your shoes by your bed and the first thing we're gonna start doing that's a part of our 20, 20, 20 is we're gonna start moving. We're gonna get our bod uh, body activated. We're gonna get the blood pumping. We're gonna wake ourselves up. Now I know you may be feeling groggy and tired and you probably feel like taking a nosedive right back into your bed instead of getting up and doing something. But a minute or two into the process of moving, you will be fine, okay? So because we're soccer players and we're trying to improve our soccer game, we're gonna take advantage of this 20 minute block to work on our game. Now, I'm not gonna give you any specific drills because you already know what you wanna be working on. So come up with what is the area you wanna be working on in the morning. Do you wanna work on your dribbling, your ball control, your skill moves, your shooting, whatever it may be. Figure out what that is. Then you're gonna go outside or to whatever space you need. If you can't go outside, I have videos that go over routines you can do in your house and can do inside if it's too cold. So you can do a 20 minute routine or a couple of routines that lead up to 20 minutes in your house if you need to. But the important thing is that you're selecting drills prior to when you're starting this routine that you know you're going to do when you wake up. So for 20 minutes, you'll be doing your routine. I like to do certain dribbling routines and um, certain uh, skill move routines. Occasionally I'll do a ball control routine, um, but usually I stick mainly with dribbling and skill moves. Now you don't have to do that. You can choose whatever you want, but I like to do cone drills and the Ronaldo box and the uh, Ronaldinho box um, and spontaneous dribbling and things like that in the morning. Again, this is up to you. The point is every single morning for the first 20 minutes after you've gotten up and had a drink of your water, you're gonna get right into some soccer drills. And after you're done this, you're gonna feel absolutely fantastic. You're gonna feel wide awake, and it doesn't matter what time you've gotten up at this point. If you could have gotten up at five, it could be 5.20 after your drills, and you're gonna feel wide awake. And that's why we start with moving, because we could start with some of the other things I'm gonna suggest first, but you're not gonna be as energized and as engaged because your body is still gonna be tired. Your body is still gonna be in that sleep mode. So that's why we want to get moving right away. So after you've done that, we're gonna do something that you may or may not agree with or you may have never done before, but it's something I recommend all players to do all the time. I've mentioned it before, and the morning is an incredibly important time to do this um, because you're gonna be setting up the rest of your day. So for 20 minutes, I want you to do one or the other of the following. I want you to either meditate or visualize. So why am I asking you, probably a soccer player, to meditate or visualize? What's that gotta do with soccer? Well, you'd be surprised the benefits that meditation and visualization will have to your soccer game. And not only to your soccer game, these are two techniques that are proven just to improve your overall life. So for 20 minutes, you'll meditate or visualize. What I like to do is put on um, certain uh, meditation type music and for 20 minutes, I'll either focus on my breathing or if I'm visualizing, I'll put on that same music and focus on my visualization. Now, when you're visualizing, and I recommend you do the visualizing one often, you can meditate, 
but I think the visualizing one, if you're a soccer player, is gonna be more beneficial because here's what you're going to do. Like I've recommended in another video, I'll link it in the description that goes over how to visualize your success as a soccer player. You're gonna visualize for 20 minutes you in a match, in a practice, or in something else playing like a superstar. You're going to imagine yourself in your position, on your team, playing whatever opposition you want to be playing. You're going to vividly, for 20 minutes, visualize this process and you're going to visualize yourself playing the best you possibly could ever. You're gonna visualize yourself beating players one-on-one. -on -one. You're gonna visualize yourself scoring all the time. You're gonna visualize yourself having the perfect game over and over and over again. Now, what is this going to do? Well, I'm gonna link that video again down below so you can kind of figure out more information on this, but this is such a powerful practice to improving um, your soccer game. It's going to improve your confidence. It's going to actually improve other areas physically for you. It's an amazing phenomenon, but your brain cannot tell the difference between reality and a vivid visualization. Notice I said vivid. You have to be very detailed with your visualization, and you'll get better at this the more you do it but vivid visualization. So if you can get very vivid with that visualization of you playing amazingly, your brain is going to think that you've actually done that, that you've actually been doing that, that you are this good. It's going to see you and be like, wow, we're really good at this game, aren't we? And it's going to help you actually replicate that in matches. I know that sounds really strange, but there is a ton of research that supports this, especially with professional athletes and Olympians. So it is sound and it is researched. So trust me on this one. Now, again, if you don't know how to do this um, or you wanna learn more, just check out the video in the description. It'll go over how to visualize. Okay, so again, first 20 minutes, you're working out. You're doing some soccer stuff. If you wanna do a regular workout and change it up instead of a soccer drill or something, that's fine. But I would stick to soccer drills from right now because you're gonna see huge benefits from doing soccer drills every morning for 20 minutes. Then you visualize and meditate. Third and final thing you're gonna do is learn. Now you may be thinking, Dave, I'm going to school after this. I don't wanna learn before I have to go off to a place where I'm going to learn. Well, we're gonna be learning stuff that's specific. It's really good to not only get your body moving and your body stimulated in the morning, but to also get your mind stimulated. You need to wake up this guy as well. Now, exercising and visualization is gonna help with that, but it's good that we learn as well. Now, you can learn about anything you want. You can just read, you can research a topic that you're interested in, whatever. But again, we're soccer players. So I suggest you do some soccer research. Here is what I suggest you do. I suggest you watch videos of one of your favorite players. You watch videos that are gonna improve your game. So you can watch some Simply Soccer videos or um, other channels like, uh, like Become Elite or whoever. For 20 minutes, I want you to watch and study and engage and learn as much as you can about this sport that you love in 20 minutes. You can read a biography, an autobiography or whatever from a player that you like or a book you may have. Whatever it is, do some soccer learning for 20 minutes in the morning. I like to watch compilations of players, so I'll watch maybe like a Luis Suarez compilation of his skills, or I'll watch a, a video on how to improve a certain area of my game, or I'll look at some tactical videos, or I'll look at and study something like that. And what this does is over time is, even though it's only for 20 minutes, you're gonna be doing this every single morning, and over time you're gonna be learning so much more about this. You're gonna be picking up so many more things from watching players and videos. You're gonna be learning more and more about this game and learning is almost as important and probably is as important as the actual physical doing. Now you need both. You can't just learn and then never take action. That's called analysis paralysis, but learning is incredibly important because you ever had that moment when you just heard something or someone said something and you, and you just went, aha, that's what it was. And then you went out and practiced it and you're like, finally, I've been trying to figure this out forever. You're gonna have a lot more of those moments if you do this. Okay guys, so thanks for sticking with me on that. I know this was a bit different. I kind of rambled a little or kind of went on more of a, a longer speaking video. Um, but this is so important and something I'm incredibly passionate about because I know if more players had good morning routines, like the potential for you to grow is massive. And if you have a good morning routine, you're going to start seeing that potential fulfilled. And the thing is, once this becomes a habit, it means every single day at bare minimum, you're getting at least 20 minutes of soccer practice in, which is most and more players, by the way. 
at least 20 minutes of visualizing and improving your confidence of how good a player you are, and at least 20 minutes of research on the game to learn more about the game and the things you need to get better at. That is going to be invaluable to you as you progress as a player. So if you don't have a morning routine, and you need one, and you're a soccer player, I highly recommend you do this. Now, again, you don't need to do this. You can have your own morning routine. If you don't follow this one I've set out for you, create your own, okay? You don't need to follow this one, create your own, but it's important that you have a routine that you pretty much do every single morning. Before I end, I'm gonna answer one thing because I know that someone's gonna say it in the comments. They may not even make it to the end of the video, so they may not even hear this, but someone in the comments is gonna say, I don't have an hour in the morning. You do, okay? You do. Don't use that excuse that's holding you back. Anyone who comes into the comments and tells me, but I have school, I don't have an hour in the morning. Wake up earlier. I don't care what time you have to wake up to make this happen, wake up earlier. There are people who get up at 4.30 to make their morning routines happen. Yes, that seems really crazy, I know, but they do it and it's possible and they benefit massively from it. Some people would rather sleep then succeed. Don't be one of those people, okay? So don't use that as an excuse. There are people who are going to school like you that have to be in there early who are still doing their routines. There are people who have to be at their jobs early who are still doing their morning routines. There are people who are performing at such a high level that they have like no time available, yet they still do their morning routines. So they can do it, you can too. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is an idea I'm so passionate about. So I hope the message has hit home and you now will develop a morning routine and stick with it if you haven't been already. Please like and share this video. And if you're new to Simply Soccer, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because we release videos every single day like this and more training videos as well that are designed to help you improve as a player. Remember to come back tomorrow for a brand new training at 5 p.m. I'll put two videos on the screen that are going to help you further, and I'll see you on the next video.